When it comes to post-workout nutrition, what we're now looking to do is replace the energy that has been lost through training, um, you know, ensure that hydration status is where it should be, and also give the body some protein to start, you know, rebuilding and repairing uh, your body. So essentially, post-workout, we're looking to consume a good amount of protein again, a good amount of carbohydrates, and we are still looking to minimize your fat and fiber intake so then those nutrients can be utilized quicker. Now, if you're training uh, twice a day or you're very active throughout the day, then obviously you want to consume higher amounts of food post-workout and also have it sooner post-workout to then, you know, uptake those nutrients sooner and then have energy towards further training sessions on the same day or, you know, an active uh, job or something like that. So. Post-workout, I like to just have a protein shake and a banana or um, something like chicken and rice or, you know, just thinking about foods which are low in fat, low in fiber. Um, or I might have a very good pre-workout meal, which then deems a post-workout meal less important because the pre-workout meal is still digesting while I'm training. So it's not like I have to desperately have something post-workout immediately. So maybe I won't have anything for an hour or so, and then I'll just have a normal meal, a normal dinner meal, and you know that will include some fiber and that will include some fat. So something to note here, I guess, is that pre-workout nutrition and post-workout nutrition are both very important. Um, to have a very well put together pre-workout and post-workout uh, meal is more important if you're someone who is very active throughout the day or needs to train twice a day. If you're someone who is just looking for general um, you know, fat loss or muscle building and you're not as active and you have one training session per day, then you can either focus on your pre-workout and post-workout or only your pre-workout or only your post-workout. Now, how that works is if you're someone who wakes up and trains in the morning straight away, then maybe you won't bother eating, right? Maybe you'll just have some caffeine to give you some energy you can train and then your post-workout meal becomes a lot more important because you've not consumed anything before training. If you're someone who trains in the afternoon and you've had quite a few meals, um, you know, before you train and then you have your pre-workout meal, you have all this food that you've been consuming, right? So then now your post-workout meal isn't as important because you've, you know, kind of protected your body in a way by, or your muscle by having your, those pre-workout meals. So pre and post are great, if you can't do the pre, focus on the post. If you can't do the post, focus on the pre. As long as there are some nutrients around your sessions, uh, you will get good outcomes.